Are you noticing that you're having issues with jumping rope? Maybe you're experiencing urinary leakage with double unders, single unders, maybe box jumps or running. Well, then this video is for you. So during our daily body armor today, what we're going to be really focusing on is um, preventing that urinary leakage with jumping and more dynamic movements by thinking of our biomechanics or our body position. And instead of having our rib cage flared and up, which is very common to see when we're jumping ropes, um, we want to think about closing down and keeping our rib cage um, well flat and closed. What this does is this helps to really synchronize that pelvic floor and that diaphragm. And when we tilt open, this really decreases our ability for our diaphragm to expand down. And so our rib cage ends up opening up. And then along with that, this causes tension within the pelvic floor even more, which can make it harder for us to prevent urinary leakage. So what we're gonna do is like I said, instead of thinking about jumping rope like this, I want you to think about taking a big deep breath in. And when you blow out, draw your rib cage down, okay? Like I said, this is going to help, you know, prevent that leakage while we're jumping instead of trying a bunch of kegels or other exercises. So think about rib cage down and then try and jump. Like I said, if we open up that rib cage, it makes it a lot harder to control the pelvic floor and the diaphragm. What this will result in is decreased leakage with running, jumping, and increased abdominal control. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and don't forget to subscribe.